Joe Biden hosted an Eid party on Monday. It was a big deal for Muslim Americans. Donald Trump had cancelled these parties when he was the president. Biden has revived them. It's part of his so-called inclusive branding. Just how inclusive? Let me tell you. One member on Biden's guest list never made it to the party. The Secret Service called him and said, don't come. It wasn't just any member, though. It was the Muslim mayor of a city in New Jersey. Sounds fishy? Wait till you hear the details. Mohammed Khairullah is the longest serving Muslim mayor in New Jersey. His first term began in the year 2001. Just before he was scheduled to reach the White House, the Secret Service called him. They said his security had not been cleared. Why? The Secret Service did not say. In fact, they still haven't. So Mohammed Khairullah returned home to New Jersey. Let me quote what he said later. It left me baffled, shocked and disappointed. It's not a matter of not going to a party. It's why I did not go. And it's a list that has targeted me because of my identity. What list is he talking about? The FBI has something called the Terror Screening Data Set. It has thousands of names, mostly Muslim. Reports say Mohammed Khairullah is on it, on that list. Or at least someone with his name and date of birth is on that list. So the assumption is, that's what blocked the mayor's entry. In simple words, religious profiling. This is a man who's been living in America for 32 years, 14 of which he spent as a volunteer firefighter. In 2001, he was elected as mayor of a city. He's even got a movie about himself. It's called Mayor Mohammed. It traces his battle against Islamophobia in the U.S. And how does the U.S. government thank him for his services? By blocking him from the White House. And this has happened before. The same mayor was stopped at a New York airport in 2019. He was grilled for three hours. The questions included, do you know any terrorist? He was also stopped at the U.S.-Canada border, that too while traveling with his family. So it's not a one-off incident. It's something that's been happening repeatedly. And don't forget, Mohammed Khairullah is a mayor. If he can be harassed like this, what chance do ordinary Muslim Americans have? So much for America being the land of the free. Can you imagine the outrage if this had happened somewhere else? The lecturing would have been non-stop. But this time, the White House is silent. No comment on why an American mayor was religiously profiled. Perhaps they can include it in their annual Religious Freedoms Report. Yes, it's that time of the year. The U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedoms published its report on Monday. Quick side note, this is not a U.S. government authority. It's an independent federal agency that advises the State Department. What does this year's report say? Well, more of the same. They once again want India to be blacklisted by the White House. That's the fourth time since 2020. Talk about an unhealthy obsession. Now, there's no way the U.S. government will implement this suggestion. But these reports do tell a story. Every country in the world gets a chapter in it, every country except the United States. This year's report accuses India of targeting the Muslim minority. But where is the mention of America's rising Islamophobia? Hate crimes against Muslims are up by 9%. Muslim mayors are getting profiled by the Secret Service. Yet the U.S. believes it can lecture the rest of the world. Honestly, we're tired of this hypocrisy of these unsolicited reports and advice. Joe Biden can host as many Eid parties as he wants to. He can sweet talk Muslims, but none of it changes his country's record. A recent poll found that 62% American Muslims felt religion-based hostility. 65% felt disrespected because of their religion. Why not include that in the Religious Freedoms Report? It's very easy to sit on a perch and criticize. It's much harder to acknowledge problems and tackle them. Just ask the White House. They still won't say why a Muslim mayor was blocked from their Eid party.